Welcome, 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 welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. So today we've got a massive update on Clive Barker news. Uh, it's been a, a little while. We had, we had some news that Clive Barker, his Books of Blood, was being somewhat adapted for a Hulu film. Now, we've got another update, which is a few more members of the cast, and this is an exclusive to Deadline. But just as a bit of background, uh, because I'll leave the video linked above, but again, for those that don't want to watch that video, just as a bit of background, we'll just touch on exactly what this is. So it was announced a while back that Brannon Bragger of the Orville, uh, and also Seth MacFarlane, so Brannon Bragger was developing a small screen adaptation of Clive Barker's Books of Blood, the six volumes of original Barker stories that were published in the mid-80s. A few stories, again, this is really key, from those collections have already been adapted for the screen. But this one doesn't seem to be a full adaptation. It seems to be taken from a very short story by Clive Barker and then bolstered with some source material of the Books of Blood. Now, Deadline reports tonight that the project has now taken the form of a movie. This was a little while ago. It was two weeks ago, in fact. Bragger was co-writing, executive producing and directing, and Seth MacFarlane would be executive producing. So basically, the Orville guys. Um, now, the original report stated that written by Bragger uh, and Adam Simon, Salem, The Haunting in Connecticut, based on a short story by Barker, again, so based on the short story, with contributing original material, Books of Blood takes a journey into uncharted and forbidden territory through three tales tangled in space and time. Now, the original actors, basically, it's an anthology. It's an anthology movie. It's not, it's not a feature-length movie. It's three short films in one. It's an anthology. Now, the original uh, actors that were signed on at this point in time were Anna Friel, uh, would star alongside Britt Robertson, Rafi Gavron, and Yul Vasquez. Now, we've got another update. And again, that's what kind of brings me back to Deadline. Deadline seems to have the exclusives on this. I don't know why. Uh, but it says exclusive. Andy McQueen of Fahrenheit 451. Frida Foshen of Ad Astra. And Nicholas Campbell, Da Vinci's Inquest, have joined the cast of Hulu's Books of Blood. An original film based on Clive Barker's horror anthology. Now... These people are fine, I think. Fine actors. Nothing, you know, to absolutely write home about. Nothing to poo-poo either. It's kind of like a watch this space and see situation. One thing I am concerned about is it being on Hulu. And I know a lot of people will jump at that instantly and go, what are you talking about? It's going to be great. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, look, I know. I get it. I do get it. But... Things adapted for the, the, the silver, well, the, the, the small screen, um, typically are watered down somewhat. And some can be watered down, some can be gone, you know, all out, etc., etc. But you've got to remember Disney owns Hulu, and Hulu, they are trying to combat Shudder at the moment, and I get that. But I just have a feeling that Clive Barker's work may not be as adaptable for this as a lot of people think. And that's just, it's just my hot prediction. I want it to be good, mind you. I really want it to be good as a, as a huge Clive Barker fan and fan of Hellraiser. I've got a massive playlist full of Hellraiser stuff. I do want it to be good. Now it says that the film is from the Orville duo of Brandon Bragger, who's co-writing, executive producing, and will direct in his feature helming debut. That's the other thing that's the issue, is it is someone's uh, feature debut and and i do feel if you're going to have an anthology it would be nice to have multiple people directing each anthology i that's i just i don't know i just think that's quite a cool idea because otherwise you anthologies are same stories in a similar kind of universe right generally speaking so it would be nice if you had multiple people directing it and having their own stylistic flair because it, it gives you a little bit more engagement. If it's three stories with exactly the same style, exactly the same directing style, everything the same, like same cinematographer, everything like that, you run the risk of it just being a bit, why didn't you make a series, you know? And that, again, it's just my, 
my kind of thoughts on it. Now, uh, Seth MacFarlane is obviously going to be on board, who is executive producing. It hails from Fox 21 Television Studios and MacFarlane's Fuzzy Door Productions and is slated for premiere in fall 2020. Written by Bragger and Andy and Adam Simon, based on a short story by Barker and contributing original source material, Books of Blood takes a journey into Uncharted territory. We, we've you know, read all of this. Now, who are they going to be playing? Because they do, Deadline actually has the exclusive on this, which is crazy. So, Andy McQueen, this chap, uh, will be playing Steve, a dim hitman who's partnered with Vasquez's Bennett. Shen will be playing Ellie, a retired RN who radiates warmth and efficiency, an avid gardener who lives with her husband Sam. Uh, Campbell, who in a cosy home where all are welcome. She greets Jenna Robertson as if she's her own daughter. Campbell's son is a builder and contractor, a sturdy, outgoing man whose good humour and seemingly good heart perfectly balance his wife's warmth. Braggart and Simon executive produce with Fuzzy Doors, McFarlane and Erica Huggins, Alan Kleiman, Brian Witten, Jeff Quatinet, Jesus Christ, Josh Barry and Barker. Uh, Mark Miller is co-executive producing. We've got Joe Michucci, Jason Clark, uh, and Michael Mahoney uh, producers. I think, look, Barker's on board as a producer as well. But I don't, I think he's name only. I don't think he's going to have anything to do with this, really. Uh, McQueen was recently seen on CBC series The Coroner. He's known for his role as Gustavo opposite Michael B. Jordan and Michael Shannon in HBO's Fahrenheit 451. His, his other credits include Hulu's A Handmaid's Tale and Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan uh, for Amazon. He's repped by blah, 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 blah. Um, pfft, I don't know. And I think I got that right anyway in terms of the actors. I think I think people get in super excited because Barker's going to be involved. I think you're going to have a massive shock. I don't think Barker is as involved as people think. And and the reason why I say that is one, they'd be leading with that. They would be going, "Right, Barker's back. He's back to his old, he's back to his universe. He's going to be doing this. Yes, rejoice." And they're not. It's just slipped in there just at the last little bit. It you know, it's a mild explanation. And Barker. You know, it's not even... I mean, that doesn't say anything. It doesn't even say that he's he's actually on board. It doesn't say Clive Barker. It is literally just thrown in there. So I don't think Clive Barker is going to be doing this. I do feel, as well, a lot of people have been asking me what's, what's the deal with Nightbreed, what's happening with that. There was supposedly a three-hour cut of Nightbreed happening. It's not happening anymore. Um, because Barker seems to be, and again, I might do a video on this, but he seems to be fighting for his products to come back, or I don't know really. It's a funny situation. Basically, he took legal action against the, well, not legal action, but he threatened legal action against the people that were making the three-hour cut of Nightbreed, despite the rights being owned by someone else, the distribution rights and things like that. All, all for nothing, really. Especially when his series isn't really doing anything. Because there is supposedly a series of Nightbreed happening as well. And a series, both TV series, series of Nightbreed and a series of Hellraiser happening. Now there is some movement on the Hellraiser one. Some directors have gone uh, and met with the the rights holders, the, the producers behind it. To pitch their own series, uh, their, their involvement in the series. So there is some movement happening on that. But not enough to make a video on. Um, and not enough that's public knowledge that I can really divulge. So, but Barker's in a really funny situation at the moment. And he seems to be living on forever. Last we heard he had some major health uh, problems, but he seems to be living on. Um, so this is interesting. We are getting a resurgence of Barker stuff. Again, this is happening. We've got a Hellraiser movie in the works by Spyglass Media Group. We've got a Hellraiser TV series and a Nightbreed TV series. So we are getting... A Hellraiser, uh, Hellraiser, a Clive Barker resurgence. This will be a watch and see situation though, I think. So let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. If you're new here, hit subscribe. Stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I've missed age. Take care.